back to the Twilight Golfer. Today we're in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, at the Lynx at Gettysburg, the site of the defining battle of the Civil War. It's a long, tough course, par 72, over 7,000 yards, designed by Lindsey Irvin. Uh, we a couple of their courses in around the Maryland, Pennsylvania area. Um, this is tough. You ready for battle? This is the Lynx at Gettysburg. Celebrating America, filmed this around the 4th of July. Um, got my red, white, and blue on. Little Canon T markers. Just feeling very patriotic today. Starting off with the par four. Um, wasn't really sure. Uh, it was my first time playing the course, so um, just took something uh, to hit where I could see it. Uh, so we put a little four in out there. Probably could have taken a little more club, um, but we're safe and uh, have a decent look in the green here. Shot tracer wasn't really working for this one, um, but pulled a little left and short of the green up there. There's actually a little bit of a ravine you have to carry, um, so that's why less than driver might be a better option. Can't really see where I chipped this from, but I'm um, just down below the green and uh, got it pretty close for a tap in par to start the day. Second hole with a dog leg to the right, pretty severe dog leg. Um, in the blue tees, driver doesn't really reach to the back of the fairway, so I um, thought driver would be a safe play. Took a little draw. Pretty much got as far away from the flag as you possibly could and still be in the fairway here. Um, yeah, just took a nice nine iron and hit a little smooth uh, draw in there. Um, got a pretty Pretty close for second hole of the day. Feeling pretty good about this round. Just didn't put enough on that one. A little tricky, tricky green here. Different slopes in life. Now this, uh, they claim to be the signature hole. Um, it's a pretty uh, dramatic drop off par three with a big rock cliff behind the green. Um, pretty cool, except from the back because you can't even see the flag or the green. Um, I definitely took too much club here, um, but uh, you know, found myself pinned up against the wall, quite literally, um, with the green um, sloping you know, away from you. So you do have to carry some water um, off the tee shot, but being on the short side of the green is probably I'm better than being off. long here. Nice to come back for par and clean up our bogey. On to the fourth hole, par five, um, little dog leg left. Uh, I started my line here just right of that pine tree um, you see there, but probably should have started it. I don't know, at the last tree on the left. Uh, there's really not much room on the right here. Um, and, but you do have room on the left, so even if you get underneath that pine tree on the left, probably better than being down there where you, you can't even see the green. So had to punch out and then just um, yeah, had a nice nice little wedge here to um, to manageable distance. So I'm trying to just control the damage here. This is where things get ugly. The hole's not ugly, it's a beautiful hole. Um, pretty straightforward, uh, par four. Bunker on the right, tall grass on the right, and I went right of right. This was by far the worst hole of the day, because after that tee shot, my camera died. Um, so I'm just gonna walk through what happened. I hit in the tall stuff on the right, uh, the fairway bunker, um, then hit it to the green side bunker on the right of the green, just short of it. 
um, then bladed it across the green into that stuff back there, chunked it, didn't even get out of the tall stuff. Then uh, chip, finally chipped it on the back onto the front side of the green, um, and then lag put up to four feet and uh, yeah, made the four footer. So quad there, uh, not a hole I want to remember, but not a really a hole I, you know, it wasn't the hole spot, it was my fault, but um, used a different camera here on this on this hole, uh, par three, relatively short, a seven iron into it. Probably could have used a little more though. Um, definitely want to stay short on this green too. Um, a lot of the danger seems to be in the back, honestly, on on, uh, on this course. So um, keeping the ball on the front of the green, taking maybe a little less club and, and chipping it up and down here, um, like I did there, is probably a good play. Now this is a really long par five. Um, I took a very aggressive line here. Um, and when I mean very aggressive, I mean it, it barely made it over. Um, I would not take that line again if I were to play. Uh, it's a little more safe to the left, but it does get pretty narrow, so it requires a, a good tee shot. Um, and then it's you know it's 600 yards from the back, so it's uh, it's definitely a three shotter for sure. Um, but took a very aggressive line, paid off a little five iron up there, and you know, I'm getting in tight with the wedge and just trying to come back from that quad with something. We did it. Birdie. There is, there is hope. I've not thrown this round completely away yet. So I shouldn't speak too soon. This is a pretty cool hole. Uh, you got to carry this little ravine on your tee shot, but um, hole, you know, dog legs to the left, and then there's a big wall. You can see it um, just on the other side. I could have hit like driver and banked it off the wall, I guess. But instead, I just sliced this three wood out here uh, to where I could barely find it. Um, and then uh, hit a pretty poor approach shot, honestly. But the wall kind of scares you. I mean, it's not in play, really, but it, it does mess with your mind um, as far as, you know, thinking about getting pinned up against it or whatever. But here I am from the opposite side of the universe doing this putt. Um, got it to about eight feet. And, uh, yep, missed that one, too. So... You know, walk away with a bogey after, you know, a pretty poor tee shot. So, ninth hole, uh, coming back to the clubhouse here. Um, pretty relatively straightforward. Just got hit it over this big hill. Um, you know, have some bunkers on the right there that could cause some trouble, but uh, not a hard fairway to miss. Uphill the whole way, though. Um, so, that, that definitely affects the yardage. Up there and clean up for par. So, front nine, five over, uh, 41. So, not terrible. Um, a lot of birdie holes available on the back nine coming up. So, and hopefully we can take advantage of that and uh, you know do a little better than better than the front. So, tenth hole, uh, you got some water and tall stuff on the left, um, and then these kind of pop bunkers on the right side of the fairway um, going to a green that, that curves around the left there. Uh, I just barely uh, stayed out of one of those pop bunkers on the right. Um, you know, trying to stay right, avoiding that water on the left, um, still took it left and still took it short and kind of rolled down the hill, but not all the way into the water so just on this bank here, chipping back up, trying to get close and get my up and down. And did so. Green definitely slopes back to front. Um, so, you know, you, if you're going to be chipping from the front, you're going to take a little, you know, hit a little more on it just to you know, keep, going, keep going up the hill. This is a very interesting hole. Um, can't really see the fairway, but it's down there to the right. Um, there's a hole kind of dog legs to the right. Um, you know, if you hit it cut or fade, it's a really favorable shot, even though you can't really see it. Um, I found the middle of the fairway, thankfully, and uh, took a wedge up there uh, to it. The, the back kind of falls off here, so you don't, you definitely do not want to be long with your approach shot on 11. Um, 
because there's a creek back there and a and a kind of a retaining wall that you know if you hit long it kind of just falls into the creek. So uh, definitely take a little less club on your approach there. Interesting par three over water um, again with all these rocks and um, stuff around you. It really is a nice um, you know, just environment. Uh, very big green, kind of false front there. So um, I probably landed at 10 high and it kind of just rolled down to that. Uh, that's like a fringe there. Um, but was able to hit a good lag and play with the par. So. And now begins a series of, I think, just similar holes um, that kind of just have similar features with little unique uniquenesses. Um, but a lot of these holes here have water up the left and kind of out of bounds woods on the right. So um, requires a lot of good tee shots. This was my best shot of the day by far. Uh, five iron, um, you know, after a terrible tee shot, barely got off the tee box. Um, got it on the green from about 200 yards. Um, and not a good lie at all. Um, and then again, a pretty good lag putt. So my lag putt, my lag putting was not too bad. Um, it was tee shots like oh, these man. that kind of just got me into trouble and kind of made my day difficult. But again, you can kind of see similarities between, um, you know, even 14 and 13. Obviously, distance and length is um, different, but kind of the same element. Curving, dog legging to the left, water on the left, and kind of woods on the right. Um, this was just a series of three bad shots and somehow got away with it. Um, never really even saw the fairway on this hole. So, I can tell you what the woods look like. I spent some time there, but, um, you know, the greens are pretty fast. You can even see this one. It's not like it's severely sloped um, that way, but it's just kind of released and ran out on me a lot more than I was anticipating. So, um, I'm going to have to work on the short game uh, with that, but a lot of fun to play on these greens when, when they're rolling pretty quick. Now this is a very long par four. Um, I knew I wasn't even going to reach the green on this one, so I took my layup club, four iron, and uh, just in for the, the closest piece of land I could see. So um, took it out there short of the right, and then just kind of tried to you know, chip up. This one barely bounced out. That would pretty cool if I hold that one. But it's just one of those par threes where it's not worth it try and go for it and, you know, kind of set the layup. I mean, unless you hit a pretty good, um, you know, maybe like a three hybrid or if you hit a good 220 shot, it's it's not worth flirting with the water there. Uh, this whole uh, dog legging to the right, um, pretty, pretty easy tee shot, pretty wide open tee shot. Um, and then, again, kind of like the first hole, you've got to hit the approach. Just over this um, kind of creek or ravine to an elevated green. Um, definitely mess with your head. And then the green sloping back towards that uh, creek. So, um, again, some similarities between the holes, but um, they have their own you know, uniquenesses to them. And I like the, how the direction of the hole changes. So, the ones on the kind of coming out to 16. Um, dog leg left, and then kind of the ones going back in seem to follow that shape and, and dog leg back right uh, to the clubhouse. So this shot I thought was it was I thought it was a shot of the day. Ended up being way short because I misread the yardage. I thought it was 137, not 167. So uh, yeah, wrong club. I thought it was it would have been great if it was the right club, guys. It just would have would have been so close. Um, and then really struggling with the short game um, and the putting, and then just kind of falling apart here at the end with the, you know, like I said, my lag putting was doing good, but yeah, not anymore. It started good. It just uh, fell apart here at the end. But um, we're trying to trying to make it back to the clubhouse. Um, this one, I didn't even know where the ferry was in. I wasn't really sure where it went. Um, fortunately. I thought that was out of bounds. It actually hit the hill and kicked left, um, but it had to hit around this this retaining wall here. Um, so if you're going to hit your tee shot there, favor the left side for sure. Um, it'll give you a better look into the green. Uh, but I was able to hit a five iron up there pretty close and 
stuff the chip and again Torquim is laughing. You can see the frustration in my face. But uh still have a puff of birdie, which is great. Um even after all that. Couldn't get it to fall, but I mean just look at the view here on the eighteenth, you know, this kind of stadium feel with the clubhouse up there on the hill, the rocks. Uh, the green there, the lakes around. It's just it's a really beautiful setting for golf. Um, but finished out with an 81. Um, links to Gettysburg, really cool place in a very serene area. If you're in Gettysburg, check it out. It's worth the trip.